Alrighty, so, um, not that these are like particularly exciting. I've already made a video talking about which ones I would personally choose if I were you or trying to help you sort of uh, pick a decent unit out of these if you don't have a specific one, but they're 7% rates, so I thought it would be kind of fun to show off the uh, the summons a bit. I literally waited two weeks to even summon on the banner at all, so props to me for actually being able to wait that long, because normally these kind of tickets just eat a hole in your pocket, so uh, I don't know. Maybe we can get lucky and hit, hit some uh, <laughs> big SSR multis as I get shafted on the first one, uh, but yeah, I don't know. It'd be cool to see like a, a three or a four SSR multi. I don't know. I uh, feel like I don't have that great a luck in the game, but uh, I used to, and then for some reason it all just got sucked away. But yeah, I don't know. We're getting some daytimes, but no Escanor. I feel like I really like summon videos like this because I'm not actually having to spend diamonds and that's just very nice. Like, there's nothing better to me than summoning in the game for free. Alright, that's probably nothing. Alright, nothing. That's two in a row so far with 7% uh, rates. I actually want to check the banner really quickly. I didn't see... I know, th I know that none of these characters are in the banner. But I do want to see who else is in the banner. So coin shop units, a uh, couple of nothing good, really. Gamer Shin, that's <laughs> basically the only thing I'd want. Maybe Green Droll. The rest of these are all pretty trash. Uh, okay, anyway, uh, not <laughs> they're super awakening coins, most likely. Uh, I probably wouldn't even feed the dupe to Shin if I'm being honest here. All right, we're getting an SSR, which is great. <laughs> if I would have went through this whole banner and got zero SSRs, I would have been absolutely livid. Like seven, the one time they do 7% rates, which is actually really interesting because they used to do banners back before they started doing the, the mileage system. Um, Every once in a while they would do banners where it was like, oh hey, like we're doing a commandment banner where it's 7% rates, or we're doing a sins banner where it's 7% rates, and um, I don't know, they just don't do those kind of banners anymore, like, it would, it would hurt absolutely nothing to do one of those banners, it's just like a filler week banner, just like, like, hey, you know, let's give you guys some time to save, or if you really need a specific hero, because uh, a lot of the commandments and stuff like that are kind of old at this point anyway. So it would be really nice for them to just bring that back for a week. Um, looks like none of these are going to be fake outs. I was really hoping for it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. That would be a really nice, like, off week sort of thing. Like, instead of doing, you know, a brand new banner with brand new units in it, because. Obviously, sometimes you just kind of want to relax and you don't really want to summon for a brand new unit that just came out. A 7% banner would be fantastic, actually. Um, Blue Gother. He's actually... So, so from my understanding, this Blue Gother is actually pretty good. But uh, I don't know that I'm actually going to feed that dupe. I, I just... <sighs> The odds of me actually getting to use that character are slim to none. And if I did, it would be for like one video and it would not be worth it. So SSR, that's good. No Escanor, so could just be one. Kind of expecting just one. But yeah, I don't know. If they did, like, like I said, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the commandments, a lot of the old sins, even coin shop units are very old at this point. So I don't think it would hurt them by any means to just make like a, a random banner. Okay, so this is definitely a fake out. And there was, what, five or six SSRs in here? So there's potential for maybe more than one. If this ne if I know this next one is a gold. If it's not it, I'm skipping. Red Merlin. <laughs> okay. I don't know. These are just super... Uh, Super not good. Uh, this will actually 6-6 six, six Zar uh, Zaratros, if I'm not mistaken. So, great pickup for me. Uh, I already have Derriere 6-6, six, six, and Lilia is actually kind of trash. So, uh, e even though she's waifu, not knocking on anybody's waifu, but as a unit, kind of trash. Got to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah, Zaratros. 
decent pickup. Plus, he's really good for final boss Deanne right now. I, not that it's really going to make too much of a difference at this point. I'm already, you know, uh, pretty much over it. <laughs> like, I'm already kind of tired of messing with it. Uh, but this, uh, this was a pretty good animation. Is there potential for more than one? Uh, not really. I got a Camilla. That's okay. At least it's like a OC unit. I don't know. Just the coin shop units give me zero satisfaction as a pull. Like, they're just absolutely not, not exciting to pull at all. So, this one looks like it could be an interesting multi. We've gotten three guaranteed SSR signs so far. So that's actually kind of interesting. I don't know if there's any sort of like, you know, built like, like add up to that. So this would be fourth because we got, you know, gold text or uh, diamond text. And this would be like the fifth guaranteed SSR symbol. But I don't know if any of that adds up. So, I mean, it's at least a double. There could be potentially a fake out in here, but I don't know. Red Roxy, not great, honestly. Not super excited about a Red Roxy, if I'm if I'm being completely honest there. So she's probably going to be a coin. Um, I don't know what it is about just like explosion characters, like characters that use explosion. Uh, it's a cool mechanic, but in general, it just it's very lackluster. Like it just comes off as kind of weak. So they either need to like rework that or maybe make a unit that buffs explosion damage or something. I don't know, but explosion is pretty weak as far as I'm concerned. Um, I'm kind of hoping for a shin, but at the same time, I, like I said, I'm probably not going to do anything with it. Red Asterosa. Very cool. Um, yeah, that's not exciting. <laughs> All right, two SSRs. Can't really complain about that. That's that's a pretty decent multi. Uh, this next one, we should be able to get our second reward. Looks like we may be getting shafted on this one. We got the big, big stick energy. Uh, power lifting, though. I don't know. This video is actually going on a little bit longer than I was expecting to, so we're just going to skip. Worth it. Uh, unless there's just like a clear signal uh who did i want for this one liz is i i cannot stress this enough to you guys if you're doing your multis today when i'm doing these uh and you see this video before you do your rotations or anything like that liz is fantastic like absolutely god tier in my opinion for pve stuff like uh, obviously she's only really good for raids, but you can use her for a lot of events and stuff where you get to invite your friends. Um, just, just absolutely fantastic. I, she does so much more damage, uh, than I ever could have imagined she would do. And it's just, she have kiss. Uh, like I'm not kidding. I, I, I even built UR gear for her because I legitimately believe in that woman. <laughs> like she helps so much with Belmoth. It's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, every once in a while when we get, uh, just like the random events and stuff like that, where it's like, oh, like fight Awakened Valenti or fight Awakened Camilla or whatever, or not Awakened Camilla, but fight Camilla with a teammate or whatever. Those uh, those kind of quests, um, even when um, Battle Goose came around for the ReZero collab, uh, you could there was people using uh, Liz for strats with that because it works. Like as, as long as it's you and a partner, I think the game considers it to be a deathmatch scenario. Um, so fake out no no fake out uh so yeah honestly she's fantastic just absolutely a1 as a unit just i really can't stress that enough just really great uh i flash here which is never a guarantee but i believe cats running around um i'm tempted to skip this one more i really didn't want this to go all the way to 10 minutes to be honest but did get an SSR, we'll just let it ride, I guess. All right, what do we got? If it's big number, that'd be epic. <laughs> Blue Malaskin. I, I honestly don't know if there's a use for that woman in the entire game. Um, not ideal, but this is gonna 6-6 my Ludo, which is obviously gonna give him more CC, which could potentially make him better for me. So, great, great for me. 
Uh, not the ideal pickup there. If you want Lost Vane to do more damage, definitely grab him. If you want uh, Mark II Valenti, if you don't have her, I know a lot of people may have skipped her banner when she came around, grab her. Uh, but yeah, that's it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Obviously, we didn't get any super crazy multis. I was kind of hoping for something decent with at least 7% rates. But uh, I guess that just goes to show if the game did have 7% rates, it still wouldn't fix the game. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, but that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more content in the future. And I'll see you in the next one.